Hey, this is Brooks with Character Design Forge. I thought I'd just give you a quick update on some of the new features coming to Procreate in its next version, version 5X. Uh, I have access to the closed beta here and permission to show you all of the new features. Of course, these things could change. It was about this time last year that we got our first look at Procreate version 5. This naming convention of adding an X is new for them. Uh, all of the signs sort of point toward this being a slightly smaller scale update compared to their last few, but if it was up to me, I'd call this Procreate 5 into the Spider-Verse, and I'll show you why. A lot of the changes that you'll notice here are going to come to the adjustments menu. And as I open this up, you probably notice a couple of new names, uh, but not only do we have some new tools in here, some older existing uh, adjustments or effects now have the ability, instead of just using them across an entire layer or group of layers, we can use the pencil to come in and individually blur where we'd like to. There are a couple of new tools in here that all sort of follow the idea of channels and being able to manipulate the red, blue, green, and alpha independently. One of them is the gradient map, which if you're familiar with that tool in Photoshop, takes all of the values that you have across an image and then allows you to map uh, different color gradients across that. So we have a couple of uh, existing ones in here. We see all of the values of this layer being pulled toward these different colors. And if we wanted to, we could start our own here. Uh, say we wanted to use a sort of a, a deep red or desaturated red on the side. If we added another one here across our values uh, and brought in sort of a blue color and then maybe a a yellow over here, something like that, right? And we can play around with that, a crunch and crush some of those value structures across. Really good tool, especially for people who work mainly in grayscale uh, as a step in their concepting and just a really fun way to process existing images. In that same vein of manipulating the RGB independently is the chromatic aberration tool. And I mentioned this could be Procreate into the Spider-Verse because that's uh, the style and way that blurring and perspective was done in that movie to great effect, borrowing from comics. And now we have a couple of tools that kind of go along with comics very well. If we use this perspective tool for their uh, chromatic aberration, we can actually do pretty much the same thing. We choose this as our focal point and then use the rest as a little bit of a blur. You can see there as you pull forward the uh, aberration, which is just a change between that green, red, and blue being pulled apart from each other. Uh, you can do the same with the displacement here to see a very uh, a much clearer version of that. And then of course, everywhere that they're overlapped, we retain that. The same thing that could be done with screen printing if uh, your screens were sort of misaligned with each other and something that's been present in photography for a while. Similar tools like the bloom, which uh, is a little bit like the existing add layer. We're just taking our light values there and pulling them and blurring them out. This guy is, you know, just f going full flashback right now. We also have multiple options here for the glitch, the artifact, wave, signal, diverge, and all of these things. What's nice about uh, a lot of the new effects here is the amount that you're able to uh, adjust and slide these things. So for example, one that I think I'll myself be using a little bit more in sort of post-processing is this halftone. Once again, going back to Spider-Verse, right? Um, what you have here, and if you've used a halftone uh, layers or blending modes in the past, you might have realized sort of the, the constraints that can come from uh, trying to use just one texture uh, over top of things, which what's really nice here is that we're able to pull uh, our size of either our, our screen print or uh, full color or newspaper effect for our screen tone. It's really nice. And this is something I, I can definitely see a lot of people using, perhaps not for our main image here, right? But uh, definitely would make for a very cool background. Outside of just the adjustments menu, we have new changes to the quick menu, which is something that we've uh, had access to for a while. It allows you to use gestures to call on uh, frequently used shortcuts, right? Um, but now uh, the addition has been made to extra quick menus. So if you say have different uh, processes for your painting, your comic making, your animating, your photo processing in Procreate, now you can assign uh, different actions 
two different menus, right? So you can go into painting mode, you can go into animating mode. Really nice. Another really cool feature is here in the canvas section. If you tap on reference, you're able to call up uh, any image that you'd like. So this will pull in from your camera roll, which I won't show on screen. And now this image, which we can pull and drag around, we can uh, change the size of and scale up, will stay the same floating on top of our main drawing canvas, which is super handy. You can also use this reference window just as a full zoomed out version of your canvas. So if you're zoomed in here, making changes to the uh, subtle up close stuff, right? And now you'll see that update on your zoomed out canvas. There's a third option here for face, which I'm going to allow you to tap on when you get access to Procreate 5X. It's an experience. Something else that's really nice and refined is in our selection tool here. Uh, we can use the color fill option down here on the bottom to immediately create color shapes with our selection tool. And once these are still highlighted here, we have those marching ants, we still have the ability to customize it, to feather those shapes if we want to. Really nice new refining feature and something that will help uh, flat out colors a lot quicker. If you've upgraded to the new iOS 14, you now have the option to scribble, which is a Apple feature overall. You can use it to just fill in with handwriting the words that you want to use. And what's nice about that is you never have to bring up your keyboard to continue drawing. The same thing here with our layers panel. Now we can finally change this back to saying layer one, which we like. There are a ton of other little new features and tweaks and improvements to existing things to make Procreate 5X a pretty substantial update to this app. We'll have a full video for you once this uh, is updated and released to the public for you to try out so that you can understand all of those features more thoroughly. What do you think about Procreate 5X? I'm excited about it. You can follow me at Bagel Denizen on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And of course, you can follow along here on youtube.com slash character design forge. We have new videos every Tuesday, except for today. If you're watching this in March 2023, the way that YouTube likes to recommend things, it's, it's probably out. I am not uh, tech support, but I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching, and have fun creating.